Well, if there's one woman who embodies strength and resilience, it's Layla Abdullah. Layla has experienced unimaginable grief. Three of her children and her niece tragically killed by a drunk and drugged driver in February, February last year in Oatlands. Today, she's been presented with a Mother of the Year Award and she joins us now from Sydney with her husband, Danny. Um, Layla, congratulations. The whole nation reckons you deserve this award. How does it feel this morning? Thank you so much. I feel thankful, humbled and privileged to have received that award. Danny, a, a proud moment for you? Yeah, it is. Um, we're very humbled. And, uh, yeah, I was surprised when they gave us the call up. And, yeah, very happy. Thank you. Um, Layla, you know, we, we were hoping to speak to you last week um, when you had someone break into your, your house at the time and the way that, that, that Danny and you dealt with that. I mean, I don't know how you guys find the strength. Where does it come from? Um, first, it comes from our faith and our belief, and then it comes um, from the support of the family and everyone around us, and um, detaching ourselves from all the mater materialistic things around us and attaching ourselves to what is um, a bit more important, which is um, spiritually, um, act of mm -hmm. kindness, love, um, that, that's more important to us than anything. Mm. Lela, I mean, I think we all saw your ability to forgive and your compassion. Um, I think it's fair to say has impacted pretty much everyone in this country. I think you've made us all better people. Thank you so much. You're going to make me cry. <laughs> nah, you don't, we don't want to do that. Um, uh, Danny, tell us what you, what you think of this woman next to you. Oh, she's my rock. Um, you know, best thing I did, I was in my 20s, I don't know how I did it, I was very, you know, made, you make dumb decisions then, but I, I got this one right, and <laughs> yeah, we got married and we had six kids under nine, and yeah, we've been blessed to have each other. I think, uh, I think without each other, we wouldn't get through this hardship. Mm. Uh, look, um, don't write yourself off too, my man, you are very, very handsome, um, Leila, <laughs> you would think that, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> of course he is. <laughs> I'm blessed to have him in my life. Oh, After sweet. a couple of wines, I think she's become more handsome. <laughs> that's always the case. A few wines always help. <laughs> hey, um, guys, look, we, we have to ask you about yeah, this. It does. We're going to get on. To, we're going to finish on a much lighter note, but. Um, look, we had Veronica's mum, um, Bridget, on the show yesterday after the Oatlands Golf Club rejected plans from a memorial at the site of the tragedy. Um, let's have a look now at what the families uh, wanted. Yeah, this is a small memorial with a bench and four headstones, each remembering a child that was lost. That was the request. It's hard to see what was wrong with that and why it was rejected, guys, I imagine. It is hard and, you know, all I ask is for the board just to, to reopen negotiations, just to sit down and, and, you know, just soften your hearts a bit. We're devastated. It's a special place mm. for the family and for the majority of the community. Um, Layla, I know this is difficult for you, but uh, just one final comment on that. Um, the memorial um, means a lot to us. Yeah. This is a special place to us where we go, we pray. Um, everyone in the community, when they drive past, if they're Christian, they do the sign of the cross. If they are Muslim, they do the fatha. But everyone stop and acknowledge the kids. Mm. And some people get them flowers till that day. And it's become special to all of us because out of this tragedy, a greater good came, which is, as you said, affected everyone, brought everyone back to um, some of them to their faith, gave them hope. Mm. So it is a special place where a lot of time we've gathered to pray. Um, so we'd love for them to reconsider um, their decision. And if they can do it with love, we mm. would really appreciate it. Well, this board, I think this is... This we don't want to force it. I, I understand that, but, but let us try but to. But we'd like it to come it, from the heart. I just think this Oatlands Golf Club border an absolute joke. I and mean, if you're a mm. member at that golf club, you should be asking for change. Um, just on a much lighter note, because we want to finish on this way. Um, Mother's Day this Sunday, um, how will you, um, and, and look, I know, Danny, you've got something very special planned and you're also um, getting her a very expensive gift. Um, tell us about that. <laughs> <laughs>
I, I usually we get up early morning and <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 we, yeah, yeah. we do something in the morning. <laughs> he puts you on yeah, the spot. So, yeah, it's good. It's good. We'll have we'll have something special on Sunday and we'll probably go visit the kids mm. and yeah and and reflect. Good so on you guys. she's okay. awesome, Layla. Great mum, great wife. So it's good. It's they awesome. are my gifts, mm. Liana, Alex, and Michael, Danny. Aww. Beautiful. You're a beautiful yeah. couple. So, um, we can't think of a yeah. more worthy mum, can we? No, for this exactly. Award. Well done, you two. Thank you for being with us today. We appreciate it, and our, and our audience does as well.